guys in this video we want to write a recurrence relation for the following function where t of n is the running time and n is the input size so here we have our function uh, integer add integer x so it's a function called add that returns an integer value where the parameter x is also an integer now if x is equal to 1 this function returns 5 otherwise this function returns 1 plus add x minus 1 so the input is one less than before. All right, so there's two things we want to know. We want to know the recursive case. And then we also want to know the base case. Okay, so the recursive case, that's t of n. So that's the running time it takes for some input size n. This is going to be equal to t of n minus 1 plus some constant. And I'm going to put, I'll write out constant here. So plus some constant. And now if we rewrite this again, get t of n minus 1 plus, I call it c and C stands for constant. Now you can also sometimes see people will write something like this that says equal to T of N minus one plus big O of one. Big O of one just stands for constant time. Okay, so how do I get to this? Well, we know that because our recursive call has input of size uh, N minus one, and the extra work we do is constant. So right here we have input size n minus one. Here we have some constant work that will be done. Okay, now for the base case. The base case is T of input of size one. And it's just going to be some constant. The base case will always be some constant. So here, we're just returning a value 5. So the time that it takes to return this value 5 is a constant amount of time. Now, this can also be rewritten as big O of 1. So thank you guys, and please leave comments, questions, uh, likes, and please subscribe. And let me know if you guys see anything wrong. I'll see you all in the next video. I plan on making a video on how to solve this using the iteration technique. So see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.